Well, one owner car guy, and I guess this guy is a fisherman. He's been pure fishing for a long time from the look of it. Full time since 95. I don't know what that means or if you guys have seen him on the fishing channel or some stuff like that. But now you've seen his truck. Mr. P-Line himself. Out here in the sticks in actually Smith River Launching Facility. I'm up top of Crescent City and I really wish I would have been able to stay on the other side of Crescent City last night but just wanted to get moving so eh, quick video of the mossy trees and such can't beat that thanks for watching we'll talk to you one on a car guy and we just walked way back up in these sticks here well it's not way way back but it's quite a ways back love the mossy trees and the moss all over the ground pretty cool bear tree there naked tree naked tree trail and I know that we came to, oh, where are we at I don't know where we're at that's not funny dude couple pictures along the way and just cool little land up here just out of Crescent City past a lot of the redwood forests one more I think left in fact we're in the Jedediah Smith redwood forest right about where he got attacked by a grizzly bear tore his face off cool stuff well a mossy trail I love the mossy trails isn't that cool well, thanks for watching. Just a really pretty little trail. And you know, it's a lot brighter when I take a picture. Subscribe on Facebook, same username, Cereal Marshmallows, and you get some cool pictures that you just don't get here. So, thanks for watching, and I'm just clipping this all in here together. And mossy, rocky everywhere. Such a pretty place. <clears throat> Northern California is definitely a place where it'd be fun to fly into Frisco, rent a car, and drive all over California. Take a week doing that, that'd be quite a vacation. But, yeah, there's a split in the trail up here, and I'm done. Thanks for watching. The Jedediah Smith Wilderness, or the Jedediah Smith National Park. Redwood, National Redwood Park, there you go. You give me a couple while to bite on that and shoot around, I'll figure it out. Real pretty. I guess this is the Smith River or something. And it's actually a National River Preserve or something like that. Definitely pretty. Well, just had to get a little bit, a couple pictures of this while I was here. Landslide! Well, not that this is my most interesting video, it's just a video. And I gotta get back out of here. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's gonna stop now. I hit the button twice on accident, but here we go. Big old tunnel in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm almost to Oregon. But, big old tunnel. Just thought I'd show it. That's what she said. And just almost to Oregon from Crescent City out of the Redwood Forest. These are the Blue Woods. The Blue Woods? I don't know what woods they are, but there's a lot of trees. Well, don't know how I'll clip these together, but they'll be clipped. snow up in this end of California. That's not 
cool. Well, it is cool. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Well, out on the I-5 in Oregon, we can at least now go 65 instead of like 40 to 55. One thing I don't like about Oregon, don't be hating now, I'm sorry. I'm not like trying to hate on your state here if you're from Oregon. Just the speed limit sucks. And got my own, my own full service gas. I never had my gas pump for me in my life. Never have I pulled up and had full service. And you know, in California and different places, they don't even offer it no more. It's not something you can really get. Um, every once in a while you see a full service station, but they're all full service in Oregon. And it's against a lot of pump your own gas. And most of the people think it's because to get jobs, where it makes more jobs, and it probably is. Um, one guy told me that every time it comes up to vote, it does not pass. And people in Oregon seem to not want to pump their own fuel. So, that's what I know about it. I'm sure you can find something else out online. Pretty hills. It's a different kind of pretty than up in Northern California. Northern California, probably one of the most beautiful places in the world. Uh, that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Oregon. Pretty out here. I'm going to get you some close-ups up down there on the edge, guess you call it the beach. Uh, I just stopped here. Thought I'd get, oh, look up there with all them bushes going down the river. We just came over the Jedediah Smith Redwood Forest. Came up through Grants Pass. And now we are going up the Interstate 5. And Breeder wants to get out with me. He's like, what are you doing, Dad? It's BeaglesPocket.com. We'll talk to you. There's some pretty hills out here, and I'm down on the side with all these cottonwoods or whatever. And I, ah, I've got all kinds of stuff in the One from the car guy, and I was hoping to see these green hills. Probably can right past these things. Right as I find them down my camera. Bam! Look at that, just a beautiful out there. down the road so it's a little hard to get you the crystal clear beautiful pictures but get you something at least and we just GPS in and computer in and on down to Interstate 5 up to Seattle. Another Cabela's. They got a lot of these Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's on the sides of the road now. Um, we are in Eugene. Next to a logging truck. And just shooting down the road. Heading towards Renton, Washington. Gonna try and meet up with Test Drive Junkie. Baja Busta, you've probably seen his stuff on there. I know he uploaded so many of the old um, vintage commercials of all the different cars. Basically, all the vintage commercials of all the cars that I sell on One Owner Car Guy. So, kind of a neat thing for me. I like people that like the cars that I like, and I've talked to him back and forth on here, and watched his channel, and watched his websites, and check him out at testdrivejunkie.com. Um, Joel, nice guy, and he's got a great channel on here. Make sure to subscribe. He's also a Test Drive Junkie on YouTube. Well, that's that. Just clipping on along. And Royal Caribbean Cruises LTD. Wow. We're out here selling timeshare cruises and stuff to people. 
That's a sweatshop. Man, they just in there boilerplate selling stuff. Well, thanks for watching. Um, at the power plant. It's a pretty area. It's not pretty like Northern California, but it's pretty nonetheless. Sorry about all the out the window shots. This ain't Salem. Eugene, that's right, we said Eugene. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.